Kenya is renowned for its beautiful natural resources. It is also home to one of the seven wonders of the world. Among many other attributes, Kenya is also home to one of the world's most precious and consumed drinks, coffee. Kenya undisputedly grows the best coffee worldwide. Kenyan coffee is a very special coffee. In fact, of course, it's marketed as a speciality coffee because it is uh, of the highest quality and of a very special aroma. There's no other in the world that is actually graded like that. Even the biggest producers who are in the same category like Kenyan coffee allude to the fact that there is no other coffee as great as the Kenyan coffee. Kenyan coffee is a unique product in the, in the world market, not necessarily because it is coffee like any other coffee, but because of the way that the coffee is grown. The excellent and rare climatic conditions that are only found in a few places in Kenya and other personal professional care given to Kenyan coffee gives it that rich taste that has made many very glad. In Kenya, coffee is grown mostly by small-scale farmers who join together into societies and the other is grown by the medium and large-scale farmers who have big tracts of land. Among the many farmers who have benefited from the reforms in the coffee sector is Mr. Matthew Mugo, who not only grows the coffee but is also involved in the sale of coffee both locally and internationally. Having started with only a few acres of the crop, Gibson's coffee estates have continued to grow through partnerships with other like-minded farmers who see the potential in the coffee sector in Kenya. Registered as a coffee marketer both locally and internationally, Gibson's Coffee has a great task of marketing Kenyan specialty coffee of the highest quality to its local and international consumers under the brand name Gibson's Coffee. This the company does to ensure that the local farmers get better prices for their coffee produce. The attention given to Gibson's coffee in the farm is high in standard to ensure that only quality coffee is produced. Kenyan coffee, which is of uh, Arabic variety, is a very special product in the international marketplace because Kenyan coffees are grown in areas where the, the rainfall is well distributed throughout the, the year, the, the, the area in where those coffees are harvested and cultivated uh, have a very deep volcanic soils, bearing in mind that uh, most of these coffees come from around Mount Kenya and uh, also around the slopes of the, the Abadeas. After planting the seedling in well-prepared land, the maturity time is between two to four years depending on the plant type. The flowering of the crop begins then. During this time, the weeding goes on in preparation for the April rains. After the rains, pruning goes on and the fertilizer is applied to the crop. It is important to note that Gibson's coffee is grown under properly treated natural manure which gives Gibson's coffee that needed advantage to its consumers. Coffee berries are usually ripe for harvesting nine months after flowering. It is after this that the fly crop all the early picking is done in the Gibson's coffee farms. Later on in the year, the main harvesting season begins.
Harvesting at the Gibson's coffee farms is carried out by hand, unlike strip or mechanical methods practiced in other parts of the world. On an average day, an individual can harvest 50 to 100 kilograms of coffee berries. Although hand-picking is a more expensive method of harvesting coffee, it ensures that only the ripe, high-quality berries are picked. The farmers selectively pick the cherries that are at the peak of maturity, leaving the unripe cherry for the next picking. The coffee is then subjected to more selection to ensure that only the highest quality cherries make their way to the factory for processing. Once the coffee has been picked, processing must begin as quickly as possible to prevent spoilage. Gibson's coffee is processed through the wet method at the factory. This is a very expensive method, but for Gibbs coffee, quality for its consumers has no cost. First, the freshly harvested cherries are passed through a pulping machine where the skin and pulp is separated from the bean. The pulp is then washed away with water. The parchment is then soaked into fermentation tanks overnight. The coffee is again subjected to a thorough washing. At this point, the coffee is referred to as parchment coffee since the beans are all surrounded by the parchment husks. The beans are separated by weight as they are conveyed through water channels, the lighter beans floating to the top while the heavier, ripe beans sink to the bottom. The parchment is then sun-dried on drying tables. This ensures that the coffee is evenly dried by continuous, regular turning. It also acquires that bluish color which Kenyan coffee is famous for. When fully dried, the coffee is bagged and sent to the curing mills where the milling process begins. The beans are mechanically sorted and categorized into separate grades according to size, shape and weight. AA is the biggest. After grading, Gibson's coffee undergoes through a further classification process of expert liquorers who cup and taste the coffee to classify the cup quality. In fact, this is coffee which can be exported without breading or bulking and for a specific market. For a specific, for a golden market. Yeah. This ensures that your cup of Gibson's coffee is of the best quality. The coffee is then sent to the traditional coffee auction where coffee buyers bid for the coffee. Traditionally, Kenyan coffee is sold through the coffee auction where very large distributors buy coffee to later resell to other roasters and branded retailers worldwide. Being a registered roaster, Gibson's Coffee roasts its coffee to the desired levels at their newly acquired roasting facilities. The coffee is then packaged, ready for sale. Thanks to the reforms in the coffee sector, Gibson's Coffee is able to sell its coffee from its farm directly to roasters in America and Europe. The Gibson's Coffee brand is distributed affordably in distinctive blends namely the Kenya Gourmet Coffee, the Kenyan Breakfast Coffee and the Kenya Household Coffee. Gibson's Coffee has continued to enrich coffee farmers and has allowed them to reap the benefit of their labor through productive partnerships. Gibson's Coffee's new acquisition is a state-of-the-art coffee house situated in the capital city Nairobi, where only the best quality cup of coffee is served. Welcome for the best cup of coffee in the world.